Wedding faux fur. This is where everything's gonna be made a mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna share a few tips and tricks, but just know that you're gonna get fluff everywhere and partially that's inevitable. The biggest thing you wanna know is that when you're cutting fur, you never wanna cut all the way through and cut the layers of the actual fur below. You only wanna cut the backing. So, that means that best way to do it, I like to take really small cuts and you can see that I'm just barely threading my scissors like right, right at that backing layer and not going through and cutting any of the fur or as little of the fur underneath as possible. It means it's gonna take a little while to cut things, um, but it really is gonna help you not get fluff absolutely everywhere. Um, and that trick, you know, again, it's just about making as small um, or as shallow of a cut as possible. So you're just barely cutting that backing layer without cutting the fur all the way through on the bottom. Another trick is you can use a razor if you're comfortable holding a straight edge um, you know, razor in your hand, you can run it along and just barely score the back. I don't like to do that. I feel like I'm safer and more accurate with a pair of scissors. I just have to go slowly. I do not recommend using a rotary cutter because um, it's just too easy to press down and cut all the way through the fur. And the problem is that if you cut all the way through the fur, you get kind of a weird blunted edge um, so that um, it'll be really obvious on your finished, um, you know, as you can see here on the right side, like this is cut correctly so that this fur, um, even though the backing stops here, the fur extends below because you're going to want to have that fur length, um, you know, be able to extend off the bottom of your cuff. If it doesn't, it's going to look really funny if all the fur just stops. It's really just not as pretty. Um, so it's worth taking, you know, taking that time, going really slowly, cutting just that layer, um, or as little, <laughs> you know, as shallow of a cut as you can. You can see I'm, you know, it's, it's slow. Um, another trick is that as soon as you make a cut, like, inevitably you're going to get some of the fluff in that seam. So anytime I make a cut, I like to immediately run my hand over the seam and kind of pull on that seam that I've just cut on both sides. You'll notice you get some fluff in your hand and then throw that away. <laughs> that this way um, you can immediately throw away some of the bits of fluff that might get anywhere and everywhere. Um, and you can do that, you know, after you cut every seam or after you've cut out all your pieces, just run your hands around the edge um, to, to minimize the fluff that's going to fly everywhere. Um, another trick for minimizing fluff um, is that after you cut out a piece, go toss all your pieces in the dryer for five minutes dryer with no heat. You don't want to risk melting the fur or damaging it in any way, but you can just, um, you know, just that air will help blow the fluff um, off of the raw edges so that again, it's not gonna get everywhere. Um, it'll help minimize the fluff you're gonna get all over yourself and your house and your craft room and your pets and your children <laughs> um, as you work with this. So. You can see here um, on the edge, I did sort of a, a straight cut instead of, um, and cut through the layers of the fur below instead of delicately cutting the edge. And, you know, as I was describing, you get this kind of weird, blunt, like bad haircut effect. <laughs> and that's really not what you want. So that's why we cut everything really slowly. 